Hello dear students, in trick number 158 today, I am going to tell you a method through which you can subtract decimal numbers easily. Now this method is very useful for junior students who are just beginning to learn decimals and operational operations on decimal numbers. And at competitive level you need to have these methods up your sleeves for success. Now, the first example which I am taking is to subtract 80.72 and 41.64. Now just observe here that the number before decimal in the second number, the number before decimal has to be smaller than the number before decimal of the first number. Obviously only then they can be subtracted otherwise the answer will come in negative. So here number after decimal is 72 and here number after decimal is 64 so now if this number is greater than this then our problem is very very simple just write the number before decimal and after decimal forget about the decimal in between just write them as separate numbers and under these write the number before decimal of the second number and number after decimal of the second number and now carry out subtraction independent subtraction of the two numbers so 80 minus 41 that gives you 39 and 72 minus 64 that gives you 8 so since you have two digits here after decimal and two digits here after decimal you need to write this as 08 so you need to have two digits in the final answer also. Now your answer is 39 and 08 and just put a decimal in between. So the uh, difference of 80.72 and 41.64 is 39.08. Just use this method here to have a better understanding. Say we have 37, here we have 18. Here we have 95 and here we have 38. Now see, this is, this is larger, this is smaller, this is larger, this is smaller. So, very simple. Here, the difference is 19. And here, if you subtract, the difference is 57. So, just put a decimal in between. 19.57 is the required difference. Now, come to a different situation. Now here in 7, this we have two digits after decimal here, but here there is only one digit. So just put one zero so that we can have equal number of digits after decimal in both the numbers. So your question is actually this. Now if you write 72 and 40, 12 and 85, here there is no problem because 72 is greater than 12 but in this case 40 is smaller than 85 now in such cases students need to carry the number from this number and then carry on the subtraction but in this method what we do is we reduce this by 1 72 so it becomes 71 the number below it will remain as it is and that one which was carried forward will make this as 140 so 40 becomes 140 and 85 remains as it is. So just observe this step. Since 40 was less than 85, so we carried 1 from 72. That number 1 made this 40 as 140 and 72 got reduced by 1 that is 71. Now we can apply the same method which we did here. We have 71 minus 12. Now this is 59 and if you subtract this, this will, this will come out to be 55. So your final answer is 59.55. Likewise you can subtract this, say we have two decimals here, two decimal places, this is 1 so we put a 0 here. So if you write 70 and 10, 23 and 46, so this number is smaller. So 70 becomes 69 and 10 becomes 110. 
so we just need to put one before this number now subtract this is 46 and this is 64 so your answer is 46.64 subtract this say 101 and two decimal places so put a zero 20 21 and 34 this is smaller so borrow from here this becomes 100 this is 21 this becomes 120 and this is 34 now subtract this is 79 and this one 66 plus 20 86 so your final answer 79.86 likewise here 49 and 21 29 and 65 so 21 is smaller so borrow one from here this becomes 48 and 29 this becomes 121 and 65 now subtract 29 19 and 65 56 so your final answer 19.56 so you see little bit of workout on this method will enable you to get rid of small errors of decimal places small errors in borrowing and students at junior level can also be taught this method to check their answers whether the difference they have got is correct or not and in competitive exams you can save a lot of time and gain accuracy through this method so keep learning keep loving mathematics and share and subscribe the channel if you like it